Hello, Mr. John Miller, and how are you? Well, thank you. Well, thank you for welcoming us into your neighborhood. It's my pleasure. Beautiful Bon Air. Yes. Tell me what you love about Bon Air. Well, I think I love the trees and mm. the neighborhood and uh, the fact that it's green and grassy. Uh, like where I grew up, uh, there was yard work to be done. Mm -hmm. um, and ever since moving out on my own, I had never lived in a place where I even had a patch of grass to take care of. So moving here, I actually look forward to mowing the lawn. <laughs> oh, you're first. You're going to get a lot of men in trouble. <laughs> uh, I have already. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you lived here in Bon Air? Uh, a little bit more than two years now. What would make you come here out of all the neighborhoods in, in Pittsburgh? Well, I moved from the south side, and in the south side, I had a small house. Um, I have a family, wife and three kids, mm -hmm. and we needed uh, a bigger place. We have friends in the neighborhood who uh, let us know, hey, this house is coming for sale. Why don't you check it out? And uh, we were able to work and moved in two years ago. So had you been here before you moved here? Uh, visiting and stuff to drop off Christmas cookies and things. So you you were aware of Bon Air? Oh yeah. yes. This yes. is such a cozy little niche. Mm -hmm. um, do you find that you know your neighbors? Or? I'm I'm learning to know them. I know them to see them, and some of them I know by name. Um, but you know, you always get the look and the hi, even if you don't know each other by name. That's beautiful. Yes, that and I like that. I like that a lot. Tell me some things. Tell me um, if there was something you, you would like to change about Bon Air. What would it be? <laughs> that's uh there's not really so much i would want to change mm -hmm. uh i think maybe they could fix the sidewalks improve some things <laughs> they could improve the sidewalks uh the roads are a little rough and uh bumpy but uh there's not so much to really complain about really? um uh we're well served by the transit as long as it's still funded okay um but uh other than that there's not really much i would change right, right. Mm -hmm. well i noticed you have a school Bon Air Elementary School. Mm -hmm. How has that affected the community with its closing? Well, you know, there's obviously not a place for them to go to school that's local to our little niche. There's one way in and one way out of this neighborhood, so it's pretty tight. Oh. Um, so, uh, although it's served by uh, school buses, the kids still have to go into Carrick to go to elementary school, or if they're going to a magnet school, maybe they're going to Phillips or uh, another place. They have to go a lot further than uh, than than they would if they lived here. Right, right. Um, and I think that uh, maybe as more younger people and families move into the neighborhood, uh, there will be more demand for the school to maybe reopen. Do you think that that's something that Bon Air needs, uh, 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 an infusion of new families? I think it's happening right now. You do? I, I think it's happening awesome. right now. Um, awesome. You know, my friend uh, Andrew, who I was speaking about earlier, uh, young family moved in here, told me about it, and, uh, you know, it, it, it'll take some time, but uh, eventually younger people will move in and kind of want to settle down. You know, maybe they're... Uh, tired of the single life mm -hmm. um, and, and just want uh, a quieter place. So this is a great place to do that? Yes. If you were to look at um, another neighborhood in Pittsburgh and, and it's inspired you, what neighborhood would that be and why? And what, what, what are some of the things in that neighborhood that you'd like to see here in Bon Air? Yeah, that's tough. I, I'd, <laughs> I have not thought about it that way. Um, because I haven't traveled to so many of the other neighborhoods. <laughs> <laughs> well, you did live in Southside. I did live in Southside, and uh, I see uh, what's happening in Lawrenceville is kind of what was happening in the Southside maybe mm. 10 or 15 years ago, where it's getting to be a more hip and trendy place. Um, so they're doing that, and they're uh, bringing young people in, and they're bringing... Uh, more of the artistic influence uh, to their neighborhood. That was what was happening in the South Side, and now South Side's become more of a trendier place. So people move from neighborhood to neighborhood as it fits them, I assume. Right, right. So that, that's what I would say about Lawrenceville in particular. Um, would you like to see that happen here in Bon Air, then? No. <laughs> yeah. You like it the quaint? I, I like it quiet and, and, and family, and, and, and that's fine. Um, there doesn't need to be a bar in Bon Air. We could, we can walk to Carrick. Absolutely, I understand <laughs> that. I understand that. Um, do you have local heroes, local landmarks? Oh, 
Well, I guess my local hero is Andrew. He's <laughs> he's the leader of the Civic Association. Okay. And the, um, but uh, any landmarks, you know, uh, going for a walk down to the picket fence on the bottom of, uh, oh my gosh, is it this street? Is it Coniston? Yes, it's Coniston. Coniston? <laughs> it's at the very bottom of Coniston. What it was was I think it was a pathway to an old tea stop. And uh, Tom Murphy... Uh, had a project picket fence in which they put a picket fence in front of the old tea stop and put his name on it, and I guess that's what it is. But uh, I guess it's a landmark for me because uh, my daughter and I took a walk and kind of explored that, and that was a little neat thing. And it's all kind of green, so mm -hmm. you got that, that, that green thing. A little green there. thing, a little bit of a green path, yes. Where do you see Bon Air in 25 years? Well, uh, hopefully it retains its character. Mm. Um, Maybe maybe the roads get improved. Uh, that's the only thing I would really change. But uh, as the younger people move in, they improve their homes. They fix up their uh, yards. Uh, you know, there's always one or two neighbors that have something uh, special about their house. The one neighbor on the corner of Coniston has his big Steelers puff out guy. <laughs> he inflates oh, for every game. Um, <laughs> or the lady down the street that has every uh, holiday decoration imaginable and puts them up for every holiday oh, so wonderful. so things like that that give the neighborhood character i like to see more of that and people kind of uh starting their own tradition that other neighbors notice right right so i think that's wonderful if um 25 years from now uh, you got uh, is this um, oh, no, i'm gonna go jump go backwards is this a very diverse neighborhood would you say i think so yeah. Uh, you know, I see people of all different backgrounds. Uh, they all live here and, you know, everyone says hi to each other. Um, you know, the, it, it's it's all kind of looking for the same thing. We want a quiet place to sit down and, mm -hmm. you know, have a place to go after work or be with your family. And, right. Uh, not have to worry about offending neighbors. Everyone just kind of knows each other and we're all from the neighborhood. Do you, you, do you as a neighborhood and as a community utilize the park together? Mm-hmm. You do? Uh, absolutely. things that happen there. It, it's kind of a rally place for when we do the neighborhood cleanup. Okay. Um, it, it's a rally place, place for a lot of uh, different activities. And, uh, you know, when the weather's nice, <clears throat> outside you hear the kids playing. And uh, so it's always used. You know, families are down there. Kids are running around. Uh, maybe they're screaming because they fell down. <laughs> but uh, in general, it's the sound of childhood. So yes. that's a good thing. Good thing. Well, I truly enjoyed talking to you, John. It was my thank pleasure. You, thank and you thank for you. having us here in Bon Air. Thank, thank you very you. much.